What's up, friends? Welcome to the Void. This is Void of Dust Gaming, your channel for Arena of Valor content. And today is special, as you can see, I'm not in my normal room. I'm staying at my parents for Christmas, so I wish you all a pleasant Christmas if you are celebrating it. If not, you're good to go. Just drink some alcohol without a reason. That's fine. Um, today I'm bringing you some Valheim gameplay. Um, he is like the staple hero. He's like the, the hero that uh, kind of... Um, yeah. I'm looking for a word here, but he's like the AOV hero, um, as well as Arthur. I think they stand for the game, and uh, therefore, from time to time, I just like to play him. He's really versatile, like he's doing great damage. Uh, he's got a really nice passive, and he's fast as fuck. And this game is going to be a little bit different than the other games, so it means that I'm going to be really good at the beginning of the game, and then <laughs> at the end of the game, not anymore. So, yeah, guys, if you like the video, just hit the like button. That would be pretty cool. And check your subscription status. Like, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so, and we can be best friends forever. So, without further ado, I would say let's hop into the armory so I can show you my build. And then afterwards, I've got some sleeky gameplay. I wish you a pleasant celebration. Bye-bye, guys. Welcome to my armory section where you can see that I build a little bit attack speed on Valheim with the uh, war boots. We have the Blitzblade. I really like the Blitzblade's effect for wave clearing. And the special thing about it is that you get some movement speed, which I find to be really helpful on Valheim as well. Then we have pretty much the standard um, these days. This is the Cleave, the Clave Sanctai. This is um, especially useful if you are gonna crit, and uh, you will see that I'm going mainly on crit damage. And an item which has made it into the meta staple is the Bow of Slaughter, which I've got here. It's got a pretty nice effect, which I haven't really used that much in the upcoming gameplay. And then we've got the Fenris Tooth as well as the Death Sickle. You can. Um, you can choose if you want to have Death Sickle as the fifth item, uh, just to use its passive in terms of being a little bit more stable. And on the other hand, the Fenris Tooth as the late game damage item, but that's completely up to you. Um, take it with your style. Arcana wise, we're going with what I call the crit build. Um, we're having 10 times the Rampage Arcana in the red section. Um, for the crit chance as well as increasing the damage and then we've got the crit um, guerrilla thing on purple because the more attack speed you have the more attacks you're gonna launch in the second and that just means that you are going to be a little bit more on the possible that the possibility to crit is higher with that that's just simple math and we have the standard skewer arcana in the cyan part. I don't know, greenish, whatever. Um, enchantment wise, it isn't really surprising. We're taking the sacred protection as the ultimate enchantment. We're having the blessing. As I said, we're going on the crit. So we want to have as much crit chance as possible. This gives us 16%, which is huge. And uh, going with the X of Sacrifice, just to have a little bit more damage. And we're having the Raging Inferno here, as well as the Deadly Claw to complement the build. And that is that. Alright, we're starting off with War Boots, as always. This is pretty much standard on the um, AD carry. On most, on most other things, I would go with the first item, at least the first upgrade. Here I like to be as speedy as possible. I want to be as fast as possible. Therefore, I'm always taking the boots. And yeah, pretty, 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 pretty poor start. As you will see, I haven't checked the brush and I'm using some of my mana just to let the stupid violet get the vision bird, which isn't that's not the best tactics, and um, I'm gonna be brilliant at the beginning of the game, 
as I said in the intro, but it's gonna start to build in a little bit less. I don't even know what I want to say. <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense what I just said. <laughs> Good thing this is that this is a one take, so I'm not editing anything. Um, I was a little bit slow here in terms of getting the violet. Mm, Toro with, with the shield and the massive health is really good and I need to I need to use my sprint here in order to survive the first attack mm, we should have pinged for help and uh, yeah good assassination from the Raz or good assassination attempt um, I was lucky or very skilled um, how I want to put it that I was able to um, avoid the last fireball that Raz was throwing against me or in my direction. Mm. As you can see, our jungler is pretty aggressive uh, going into the enemy jungle, which is always a good thing. And the jungler is also a random uh, person, so I'm playing with two people here in this video and here we go Astrid is busted like she is she has been improved so much that she gives me a headache in this game and um, other people as well she is just too mobile at the moment and I wasn't doing a good job on paying attention to the map and there's not much that I can do against them like that was that was pretty nice and I need to be super careful here. Good double kill from our Praetor. But this is really, really dangerous. The game that I'm playing at the moment. Just one roll from Violet will basically kill me. But I think she's got Sacred Protection as well. I haven't seen it. And I haven't really paid attention to it. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, And I wouldn't know in the game. Like Even, even now in the week. Cap, I don't really know what she did, but I haven't seen any thunderstruck me, so I suppose that she has having this shield as well. So now there we go, really nice hook. The the grok is really good, and uh, she had some damage multiplier on her, so I was able to kill her with the shot. Now Toro comes in. Again, Grok is doing a really nice job on getting all the damage on Toro. And my ult is up again. So we are having a really nice double kill here. And Valheim, with the with the passive and his stacks, he's just throwing Gleaves, Glaives, Glavis out like an idiot. Like shit, shitloads of Glaives. I don't even know why someone would do that. Like why did they not give him the crossbow? He looks so much like Van Helsing, so I don't really know what's going on. Like, it doesn't make any sense. The character design is, is stupid. I love the character. Like, I really I really like the way that you can play Valheim, but it's just, why would he throw these ninja stars all over again? And Toro, he really tries. That's such, such a tryhard. Such a tryhard. And what a nice old flicker combo. That boy is a pro. And again, a double kill. Like, if not for the Grok, I wouldn't be on a 4-0. He is hilariously good. Like, that was that was so well. And I was like, best support. And I'm like, okay, let's do an exclamation mark. Because otherwise, it might be the case that this person interprets it as I'm making fun of him. Which I didn't. I was trying mm -hmm. to say, like, look, dude, that was really good. Like, you were actually the best support that I could imagine in that case. I like to get the vision, so you will find me always trying to get this bird. Um, in this case, it even got some stacks for our beloved beetle. And I don't know what Toro is trying to do here. Like, he's... He's being stupid, and he doesn't know that I'm f greedy as fuck. So I will get his cow ass no matter what. Like, even if I would have died here, I would have, 
Like, check out the Astrid video. I, I just kill people to make them feel bad. Under tower. I don't care. Like, you should, you should feel the disappointment of being killed under tower if you play against me. No. No excuses. No excuses at all. Like, I don't, I don't care. Mm. Yeah, trying that feature, like, yeah, it works. Really cool. I think I was drinking something. And now we have come to the point where... I don't know what happened here. Like, it just... I just think that... Um, and you can't... Like, look at that. You, you can't escape her. I think Grok's brain just didn't work for about five seconds and... That's the reason we died here. And Grok doesn't even die. Like The only person who dies is me. <laughs> and that was just because of that stupid Astrid. Like, she's she's so mobile. I do get a speed buff. I do get an attack speed buff. And I have the attack speed, um, the, the movement speed from the Blitzblade. Doesn't matter. It's Astrid. She will get you if she wants you. No matter what. Like, she doesn't care. And she's tanky enough to take some tower shots. Like, the, the correct character design is stupid they just made her too good like it's fun if you play Astrid if you play against Astrid it isn't fun anymore and again and here he takes the credit for it which is which is okay like I don't I don't care I don't yell at screens because someone has stolen my kill like what the fuck it's a game you can't steal things. You can't, can't, that's just data. Like, you can't steal data. It doesn't make sense. It's not working like that. You stole my kill. Yeah, whatever. And now we've got the Cleave Sanctai. And now things are starting to make fun. Look at the numbers. Boys, look at the numbers. And Grok is here again. Like, that's so good. He has a really good map awareness. And I can press buttons really, really well. That Astrid Ord was wasted. That was for sure. And as my team gathers around, I start getting the... Like, here you can see the effect of the Blitzblade quite nicely. Um, now I'm starting to get some minions in. Because this game is about towers. Might be might sound surprising to you guys, but this is all about towers. You need the towers. Wow, what a hook. What a hook. You need to get nearly as good as the Grok video that I was just contributing to this community. And uh, I would love you guys to watch this video because it's actually the best Grok in town. And again, he should have learned his lesson earlier. I will get you on the tower, even if that means that I'm gonna die. And here's the proof. I died. But I don't care. Because it's just not for numbers. It's for towers. The game is about towers. The game even says that the game is about towers. And the only thing that most people are looking at is numbers. In terms of how many data have I killed. And how many data has killed me. Which is stupid. Stupid, guys. It's stupid. That's not what the game is all about. It's about and basically, you're, you're like a construction site. You are demolishing towers. It's like you're, you're some kind of builder. It's like Bob the Builder plays this game. Do, 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 do. Could have stealed the red buff here. Would, would actually be quite useful for me. But I didn't. Because I don't steal data. He can see me... Dealing a lot of damage. Getting some wave pushed. This is all about grouping and shit. Like, no one needs to group here. We don't need to group. We need to kill things. I haven't seen that much from this mysterious scud. So I just tell him that I'm still there. And I'm just getting some damage into his face. And in this scene, that's what I said in my build section... I'm about to switch the items because I want to have Death Sickle first. And okay, here we go again. Astrid, and she's immune. 
And she kills me, but luckily she's killed as well. So that's payback time, bitch. No one likes you. Red-haired, soulless person. Redhead. Leskopf. That price is really doing some damage. Like, sh actually, not that bad. So, here you can see me on a 733, and I don't really care. Report Toro, he's lamentable. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Like, people use English for the first time in their life, which I think is great. Like, I, I don't understand Turkish. I think it's uh, a language that has its value. I think it's important for, especially Turks, that they can talk in Turkish, which I think is really, really nice. But, I don't understand it, so that's a little bit difficult. And here I pressed the Bow of Slaughter to activate, but it didn't. And therefore I have now to kill, I have to kill minions now in order to get some health back. And here we go, like we don't have wave, but here comes wave. Because it's about towers. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Like, I'm not sure what his intention was. I don't think that he wanted to die or fighting me. But <laughs> he comes a fireball and I take it for the team. Like a soccer mom or something. Is that still a thing, soccer moms? I think it's only a thing in the States. Like, if you go to a German football match, you don't want to bang any soccer mom. Like, that's not supposed to happen. Look at them. That's a special kind of person. Especially um, in terms of the looks. And here we go. Ah, uh, no. That, this is something that he should have learned from Pokemon. Um, Buck type is weak to fire. So Raz was obviously uh, best suited to kill this buck type person, this buck type Pokemon. I don't know what's going on. Like, I think Kricknack did not do his research, like not well. And I do get some apes here. Love me some ape meat. Mm, ape meat. And now we've got the death sickle. So the first killing blow is not gonna happen, which is. Especially nice against this Astrid thing. And, oh no, they've seen us. So it doesn't make any sense to stay in the brush. Don't know what the minion does here. But I see that there's a fight upcoming in the middle of this game. In the middle lane. So, of course, I need to participate in that because I need some more kills. Not really sure what Chi does at this point. But I can see that she's baiting. And now it's our time to shine. And that's... That was special. Like, that Raz, he was really special. And, um... Again, while everyone is fighting like crazy, I think towers are more important. I don't care about people that much. I care more about buildings. And I take me some red buff, because I want some red buff to happen. I'm not really sure if our Kricknack was planning the quad kill, but, I mean, a quad kill is nothing that you should be ashamed of. Something that you can be proud of. Like, if you didn't really manage to be good in sports or something, um, or intelligence, then a quad kill might be a really good thing for your Vita. So what references do you have for this kind of job? None, but I got a quad kill on Arena of Valor. Well, you're hired. Come in. Just come in. Okay, this was the Valheim game. I think it wasn't that bad. Um, telling from the numbers, I did some damage. Of course, I can't outshine a Kricknack with a quad kill. But that's not supposed to be the case. Everyone gets a thumbs up because... Thank you, team. You were so nice. And I'm not the worst player... 846. 20.62% damage. Did most of the damage in the team. So thanks guys for watching and I wish you a nice Christmas.